Welcome to Godly Goosebumps. My name is Dudley Rutherford, and week after week, we get together like this and we read stories or tell stories that give you goosebumps, but they're, they come from what God does in our life. God is so far greater than what we were even able to imagine. The Bible talks about how his ways are higher than our ways, as high as the heavens are from the earth. And somehow in this little world of ours, these little minds of ours, we're always trying to grab a hold of the greatness of God. We tell these stories week after week to encourage you, to inspire you. We tell these stories so that you'll be reminded that God is always working behind the scenes, whether you see it or not. And again, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, you can follow us on YouTube, but we would love if you enjoy these stories to make sure you share them with others, because I really believe that just listening week in and week out will will be a blessing to you or to whoever hears these stories. And a lot of times there's, there's faith, faith is involved, and faith is being assured of things that you cannot see. And that's really what this podcast is about as well, because as you hear stories of faith, it gives you faith. When you hear stories of people trusting in God, it enables you to trust in God. And when you see certain people becoming Christians that maybe you thought would never become a Christian, it enables you to see and to understand and to have the faith that God can reach anybody. Amen? I heard this story from a guy named Randy Newton. He was a former IMB missionary to Brazil. And Randy tells this amazing story, and I really want you to think about the details of this story and see how God was working. He tells about a Brazilian woman who wasn't a Christian. So this woman is unsaved. She's she's not a believer. She's not a Christian. She, she believed there was a God. She, uh, she understood that there was a God, but again, when, when you're not saved, you don't have a personal relationship with God. You just kind of view God as some, some being that's way, way out there, like God is a billion miles away. One year on her birthday, on her birthday, this woman looked up to the sky. She just kind of looks up, and she prays this prayer, and her prayer is something that we always encourage people to pray if like 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 if you if you're not a Christian and you have all these questions you just we've always said just ask that person say hey just ask God to reveal himself to you that's what we always say just tell God to reveal himself to you and he will we we say that a lot to people who who don't believe there's a God or they think well I'm not sure there's a God just 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 pray ask God to reveal himself to you well this woman On her birthday, she looks up and she says, Dear God, please send someone. Send someone to tell me how to know you. That's a a pretty good prayer. That's a sincere prayer. It's an honest prayer. Dear God, it's on her birthday. Dear God, please send someone. I don't care who. Send someone to tell me how to know you. That entire year passed, and not one person came to introduce her to Jesus Christ, not one. So the next year, on her birthday, a year later, she prays the exact same prayer. Dear God, why haven't you sent someone? I want to know you. Will you send someone to tell me how to know you? This went on for many years, and still her prayer went unanswered. Every year on her birthday, not some years, every year on her birthday, she would pray, Lord, send someone to tell me how to know you, and no one ever came. One year, her birthday rolled around, and she prayed that same fervent prayer, and later on that day, she heard someone clapping at her gate. Now that 
might sound a little strange to you, but in Brazil, most of the houses in that part of the city had fences around them. They don't have doorbells. And so when a guest wants to be admitted to the house, they'll stand out at the gate and clap their hands. So this is her birthday. Many years later, praying the same prayer, Lord, send someone to tell me how I can know you. Later that day, she hears this clap, and she goes to her front gate and found out there standing was a young missionary standing there who had recently moved into her neighborhood. He asked her, is there any way you'd let me come in and talk to you about God? Well, she immediately invited him inside her home. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about this story. He spoke with her. As he spoke with her, the missionary told her that Jesus Christ is God's son. And only by putting your faith in Jesus could she ever have peace with God. If you want to know God, you have to put your faith and trust in his son, Jesus Christ. The missionary is explaining this to her. He's explaining salvation to this woman. She's been praying this prayer forever. This is her birthday. She hears the clapping. He comes in. He sits down. He shares the gospel with her. As tears filled this old woman's eyes, she gratefully prayed to receive Jesus Christ as her Lord, to put her faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And then she says, I just want you to know, she says this to the missionary, today's my birthday. And he said, congratulations. And she said, no, 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 you don't understand. She said, 30 years ago, 30 years ago, I first prayed a prayer for God to send someone to tell me about him. She said, every year for 30 years on my birthday, I've been praying to God, God, would you send someone to talk to me about the gospel, how I can, not the gospel, but to how to know you. And here, 30 years, I've been praying that 30 years later, you're the answer to my prayer. Oh, that's a good story. Oh, but it gets even better. The missionary smiled back at the woman and said, it truly is a miracle. Because you see, there's a missionary talking. He says, today truly is a miracle because you see, today is my birthday. And then he said, I am 30 years old today. God had heard her prayer 30 years earlier, and he had been preparing this missionary to answer her prayer for 30 years. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, our God is great, and he is a mighty God. I think of the scripture in Romans chapter 10. The Bible says, how can they believe in the one whom they've not heard? How can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they are sent? Paul quotes that verse that we read from Isaiah chapter 52. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news of God's peace. You can read that in Romans 10 verse 14 and 15. I want to encourage you to do something beautiful for God. I want to encourage you to listen to the voice of God. I want to encourage you today by telling you that somewhere, somewhere in the city in which you live, right now, there is someone who's been praying this prayer, Lord, send someone to talk to me about how I can have a relationship with you, and that perhaps God is preparing you this very moment to be the answer to someone else's prayer. But know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God has a plan. God always has a plan. God's plans are perfect. I see in the story that I just told you the power of consistent prayer, that this woman prayed this prayer 30 years ago on her birthday, 
and she prayed it every year. She would not give up. She kept praying, and she kept praying, and she kept praying for 30 years. God sends someone to me to explain to me how I can know you. And for that entire 30-year window, God was preparing the heart of this young missionary. Did God answer her prayer? Yes. Did he answer it the first time she prayed the prayer? No. And that's a lesson for all of us in prayer, that when you pray and you ask God for something, sometimes he says yes, sometimes he says no, sometimes he says later, sometimes he says hold on. What requires more faith when he answers the prayer the first time or for you to pray the prayer for 30 years? Oh, that's a good question. I want to ask it again. What requires more faith for you to pray a little prayer and God answer that prayer immediately or for you to have to pray that prayer for 30 years? Well, obviously, it takes more faith to continue to pray for 30 years and never give up on God answering that prayer. Now, if you're here today and you're listening and you do not know God, you do not have a relationship with God, you can pray the same prayer this woman prayed. But don't pray it once, and if God doesn't answer immediately, you give up. If he doesn't answer it the second time or the third or the fifth, don't say, well, I asked God 10 times. He didn't answer my prayer, so there is no God. No, you pray that prayer for 30 years if it takes 30 years. God is preparing someone to speak to your heart at the right time. It could be this podcast. It could be this podcast. It's one reason why I want you, if you're listening and you're a believer, to share godly goosebumps with other people. Grab a hold of this story, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, get the word out, because this story might be an encouragement to someone to not give up praying that prayer. But know that God, know that God is sovereign. Know that God hears all, that he sees all, that he knows all. Pray your prayers, believing that God will answer your prayers. Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe later. Maybe he says, hold on, but God will answer your prayer. Keep trusting in God. Don't ever worry. Keep praying in faith and believing. And I believe if you have questions about God, who he is, if he's real, how to know him, you just keep praying that prayer. And our God, who's in heaven, will answer your prayer. Maybe this podcast, maybe pick up a Bible and read it, maybe get to church this weekend. But keep asking, keep knocking on that door, and God will hear your prayer. Amen and amen. Our God is a great God. Again, it's Dudley Rutherford, Godly Goosebumps. Go to our website. If you've never been to the website, go to godlygoosebumps.com. Hit that subscribe button and tell others, share this story, and be back next week. We'll tell you another story that will give you godly goosebumps. God bless and bye-bye. <laughs>